Hi, I'm Sarah from Heirloom Creations, and we have, for our Sotopia Sewing Club, we have Catherine from the Canton Quilt Retreat Center, which is an awesome place just outside of Sioux Falls. But she is also a Judy Niemeyer Certified Instructor. So what does that actually mean, and what are we standing in front of? Well, Judy started the Certified Instructor Program. It kicked off in 2011, so I found out in 2009 that I was chosen to be part of the program. I was really excited. And then we trained in two, at the fall of 2010, and then Glacier Star was the kickoff of the program. Uh, this is wonderful. Now, this is all paper piece. Correct. But she Correct. has some very specific um, techniques here right. that allow you to get perfect point. And um, she's got great techniques for doing curve oh. piecing. So we have the New York Beauty here, feathers. We've got circling geese, which is one of her standards. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. And then this was new. This was geese in the pond. And this is a snowflake, which she then made into a table runner eventually. This is awesome. Now, we have for you a whole bunch of quilts. We're going to take some pictures and include them in this video so you can see further. But these are we are also considering doing a few classes here at Heirloom Creations. But you can go down to Canton, South Dakota, and we can stay at your place. Exactly. If you like have your own like home that, a lot, well, it's not really your home. It's a retreat center. No, You've it got, really is my home. Well, that's true. It's a bank <laughs> building that was built in 1896. It is really cool. It's it's about 6,000 square feet of space for my retreat, my retreaters to use. There's a full um, kitchen, living and dining room, 1,400 square feet of workspace. That's awesome. With wonderful lighting, tables, and chairs. That's what you need when you want to go on a retreat. So Catherine will actually teach the, the quilts of your choice, or you could use the retreat center for your own projects or own events. And how many rooms again? There's five bedrooms with 15 single beds. That's awesome. Good. So these quilts, um, you know, with the Judy Niemeyer technique, this it's really endless what you can do, and everything is very specific. Um, we have the Batik fabrics here that allow you to um, really get the variety in these quilts. And I sometimes see you helping some of your customers. Exactly. That's Catherine comes up and helps them pick out their own fabric. How would you like that to have your personal um, personal shopper? Right. Yes. Especially for this for this project. We always like yes. to come with our students and help pick out for this project. This project is Desert Sky. This is a wonderful one day project because you learn how to make spike units and then you learn how to do curve piecing. Mm -hmm. It's a great project for buying fabric because you just use fat quarters. Mm -hmm. 12 light, 12 dark, or 12 contrasting, 12 and 12. And so it's a really easy project for anybody to tackle. So if you're in an area that has a Judy Niemeyer certified instructor, this is one that you'll definitely want to start off with, a great one. Good. What do we have next? Next, we have the Bally Wedding Star, my favorite, uh, one of the my favorite quilts to teach, and also one of my most popular classes. Curved piecing strip piecing this is the way to get that double wedding ring that you've always wanted to make it's and an it, easy way to make one and it's perfect look at those color runs so how many different fabrics are in here who 88 <laughs> two and a half inch strips plus two purples two blues and five raspberry slash burgundies you say this really pieces together fast but it's really the construction that's going to take you a little bit longer right. as you as you said, definitely not something you're going to just give away. It's going to be right. loved probably by you. Make it for yourself. <laughs> Make it, that's good. All right, good, good advice. Then next we have Raindrops, which is another really popular project. Um, just two different pieces to make, both spike units, so you will learn how to cut it out. It's really fast to cut out. And then to piece, so two spike units, and they are curved pieced together. Then you lay them out in a pleasing manner, and um, it's really easy to do. And I have another sample to show you that it shows it a mini version of it in K-Facet fabric. And that is really how I, I fell in love. I love that one. Yeah. It is awesome. I like the small version of it because sometimes if you don't want to tackle a whole bed size quilt, which a lot of these are, right. having a nice little sampling on your wall is right. wonderful. Seeing this project in K-Facet is what really made me a fan of Judy Niemeyer quilt. So the next piece is Mariner's Compass. And Mariner's Compass was debuted in 2013 as Judy Niemeyer's second technique of the month project. It's uh, pretty spectacular, lots of spikes, 
and uh, Mariner's Compass the easy way, paper piecing. Mm -hmm. Yes, can't be paper piecing with all those spikes. Exactly. Good. And all this quilting is absolutely beautiful. You have somebody that does all your quilting for you. I do. I have a woman up in Bemidji, Minnesota that does my quilting. Awesome. Good. Now this last one. This is a project I'm in the middle of doing, but I wanted to share it with everybody because it's the Fire Island Hosta, one of her really popular new patterns. And I was really excited about this particular project because it also uses cave facet fabric. That is amazing. There's curves in there, curved piecing. Right, curved curved veins in the in the leaves, and that's a new technique that Judy has put out this past year. It's pretty exciting. So this is brand new for like 2014. Yes. That is awesome. Definitely. Good. I can't wait. Now that's kind of like a corner unit, right? Yes, this so is one corner that you're seeing and uh, I've got I've got almost ready to put together and can't wait to have it quilted. So Catherine, this has been fabulous. All these quilts have been wonderful. Thanks for joining us at Zootopia. So where can they find you if they want to either book a book a room <laughs> or have you come out and do classes? Because you go to stores and right, travel to right. them as well. If you're interested in taking classes, go to your nearest quilt shop and tell them Good. that you're interested. Your quilt shop can always have me come to them. Yes. Or you can come to me at the Canton Quilt Retreat. So I'm at cantonquiltretreat.com. Come to my quilt retreat and plan your own retreat, or you can arrange to have me teach you while you're there. What better way can you do? Can you have to learn new techniques in a very wonderful setting out in South Dakota? Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Thank you.